The new movie Philomena stars Judy Dench as a mother searching for her long lost son. So, Philomena, how are you? I'm, I'm all right. I had a hip replacement last year, Martin. Right. Uh, it's much better than the bone one I had before. Yes. And it's titanium, so mm. it won't rust. Oh, it's a good job, otherwise I'd have to oil you like the Tin Man. Is that right? No, I mean, you know, like the Wizard of Oz. He's just joking, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> the film received an R rating because of strong language. The Weinstein Company, the producer of Philomena, is fighting the Motion Pictures Association's decision. That would be the one and only Harvey Weinstein who joins us at the table. You are ready to go to battle again. Listen, they're talking about hip replacements and titanium. That doesn't seem like R rating. It's, um, there's two F words in the movie. That's, that's what okay, you're, the R You're allowed rating. one F, and mm -hmm. this is like the King's Speech. The movie is the gentlest, wonderful, true story. It is. Filled with humor and joy. And, uh, you know, they should just put PG-13, strong language. You know what I mean on this, and make the exception. So it's under appeal, but you know. Or why don't you take the F word out the second time? Well, it's the, you know what I mean. Again, it's like asking a director to change the intention. I think you you've seen one no, of the no, F words. No, I've seen it, and, and I have to say, I thought one of them really made a lot of sense. And I had to figure out where was the other F word. Right. I'm still sitting here trying to remember. But Harvey, I'm wondering why fight this? Because the truth of the matter is, under seven, you have to be over 17 to see it. The chances are that most people who will go see this movie will be 30 years and older, don't you think? You're not going to have young people, I think, going to see the movie. Our research shows that, you know, especially down south and in the Middle West, the uh -huh. PG-13 rating is very important for adults. Okay. In other words, there's a certain they group use it of as a people guide. that do not want to go and see an R-rated movie. Usually they're church families, mm, okay. and I think this is a movie that a church family would profit by seeing, they would. and right. I think they'll love the movie. It's, you know, very entertaining. and. You know, on the on the reverse hand, why should they give it a, a you know, why should they give it an R and restrict it? Mm -hmm. I don't think that makes sense. I feel like I'm here, you know, every six months when they do something like this, <laughs> but they seem to do it to us more than anybody else. Or you but, can't use right. the title you want for one of your movies. Yes, yes right. exactly. So just which I'm is also a, I'm having because, a Butler flashback because right of here. eleven minute, you know, short film made in nineteen sixteen. So I mean there is a Kafkaesque absurdity to this. But I think, you know, we're handling it differently this time. No. And as you know. part of this appeal against rating, co-stars Judy Dench and um, Steve Kogan have made a video. So let's take a look at that. Just when you thought I was dead. I have an important mission for you. Are you familiar with MPAA? <laughs> Are you at war? Are you at war with the MPAA? Well, I've enlisted M. That's all yeah, I can they, tell you. Yes. You know, with the blessing of Barbara Broccoli and the Bond team, M has returned from the dead <laughs> yeah. to fight this battle. And an agent, and you will see it, you know, there'll be a premiere on Funny or Die. But you guys are the worldwide first to see that an agent is being dispatched no. <laughs> to the MPAA. The we like to be the first. On, the appeal yes. is on Wednesday, and yeah. M has risen from the dead. But Harvey, right. isn't there a part of you that does the hula when this happens? Because it just gives you a chance to say, <laughs> okay, I'm going to come back. Isn't there a part of you that's really doing the happy I'm dance right face, now? I'm going to Instagram my hula for you. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see it. I would love yeah, to it's see the it. Jewish and, hula. And, yeah. in, well, I was going to say, in, in, in fairness to the MPAA, we should read the statement that they gave to CBS Senator Chris, Chris Dodd, who said, yeah, Chris Dodd. Who, My buddy. Yeah. who said it's not a judgment value, but rather an indication to parents that this is an instance that is no different from any other film. Yeah, he's absolutely wrong. I mean, just like they were on that title. Protecting a 19... Look, look what happened when The Butler became a giant hit. Mm -hmm. This movie opened in England last week with none of this controversy. It's a giant hit. What was it rated uh, in it, England? It, it was rated general audience oh. for everybody. Wow. You know, in other words, kids could go see the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, with no parental supervision whatsoever. So am I, I having fun? With am I having fun with the MPA? 100%. <laughs> Sending leave. James Bond to sort this out? Yes. Before we leave here, I mean, you know something about the Oscars. Uh, what mm. what is there yet to come out, and what do, does it look like to you? The early front runners are. Well, I think that um, uh, a marvelous movie, Twelve Years a Slave, is terrific. Right. I think The Butler is getting tremendous mm -hmm. response. Um, movies to come out. 
my own. I'm screening uh, Mandela Long Walk to Freedom tonight at the White House right. for the mm -hmm. president. And then there are going to be some other screenings. August Osage County from us. Philomena is being talked yeah, yeah. Merle Street. But also Marty Scorsese's got a movie at Christmas. The Wolf of Wall Street. David O. Russell's got a, a, a movie. You know, there, this has been an, ex, an outstanding year you for films. You know what's films. great, too? Guys Unbelievable. Like, like Bob year. Redford and Bruce Dern may get nominated. I love Nebraska. It's yeah. a great movie. And Redford's fantastic in his mm -hmm. film, too. Yeah, and the directing in Gravity is brilliant. Oh, my God, it's amazing. So it's I mean, a good movie, year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beyond. They should have 20 films for Best Picture this year. <laughs> Actually, what I thought was maybe we should split the awards into two. Part one, March 2nd. <laughs> the following week, March 9th. More winners, more awards, more ratings. You can never go wrong. With well, you, you, yeah. You've thrown down prizes. the gauntlet. <laughs> you know, CBS is getting into the movie business, too, yeah. have you heard? CBS had a hit this weekend That's with right. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I hear it's That's really right. funny, too. It's very, it's very well good. done. Yes. Harvey, always good to see you. Always, always nice to, to see you. Thank you. We'll let you know how Em does in Hollywood. <laughs> I would like to see the Jewish hula. I have no idea what that I'm means. I'm Instagramming it to you today, whatever that means. Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> it is All right, not Charlie, you're missing something. <laughs>